This is a quick tutorial to help you add Discovery Education videos and other content to your classroom. Why do we want to do this? Well, the great thing is Discovery has all content areas. There are videos, there are interactives, there are um, audio tracks, and there are great explanations. They're great for math. They have um, all the teachers doing whiteboard explanations. So it's something to make your students feel a little more connected while they're out of the classroom. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to access Discovery, how to search, how to share, and how to collect a student response. Let's get started with accessing. The easiest way and the only way to access your account is to go to google.discoveryeducation.com. Okay, google.discoveryeducation.com. And you'll be asked to select an account. Make sure you use your school account. We have single sign-on with Discovery, but it's only with your school account, not your personal account. You'll end up in a landing page. The top part will look similar to this. If you haven't been to it all year, you may get a question that asks you to set up channels. You can either do that or defer. But I want to bring your attention to our next thing, which is searching. We're going to look at the search tool at the top. So how to search. Let's say, for example, we click the search bar and St. Patrick's Day is coming up and I want to look for a St. Patrick's Day video. I can simply type in St. Patrick. When it comes back, I get a variety of results that I can then filter. I can either filter by grade level by selecting the grade level I want, or do I want a video? Am I looking for an image? Did I want a text? More would be where you'd find interactives and the math explanations. There's some more advanced filters on the side, but I think for what you need now, grade level and video will get you what you need. Here I've selected grade K2, I selected grade K2, and videos. And up here at the top, you can see the choices that have come back. It tells you how long the video is. I think this is, this is a little long to share with the kids. So I've selected this one to take a look at. Notice there's a plus and the three dots, which means there's more information there. The three dots will allow you to share, which is key to get to the kids, or assign. If by chance you've made already made a classroom and had your, with added your kids to Discovery, you can use assign. But for this video, I'm going to assume that you haven't done that yet. Let's say you're not ready to share, though. Do you want to look at the video? So in preparation to sharing, you can click here to play the video, or again, on the side, we see those three dots, and one of the key, the top one is share. When you select share, this box will show up, and conveniently, Google Classroom is one of the options. So let's stop for a second. You go to google.discoveryeducation.com, search for what you want, filter the options by grade level and by what kind of content, video or text, Go to the preview the video first, make sure you want to use it. Click the three dots over here, share, and then go to just then go to Google Classroom. Once you get to Google Classroom, it's going to ask you to choose a class. So you scroll down and choose the class that you want. And once you've chosen the class, here I've chosen grade two, you need to choose an action. And these actions should look familiar because these are the same actions you get when you create something in Google Classroom. So I'm going to choose to create an assignment. So once I get create an assignment, so you choose the class, you choose what you want to do, hit the go button, and then this box will come up. And I know this looks familiar because this is what you see when you go to Google Classroom. The only difference being here that it's populated the link for you automatically. You can put the title in, you can put directions in if you want, and then the student will sign in here, will click at the bottom. Notice that the link mimics what you clicked to sign in, Education. Since the students have single sign-on as well, and they're going to be signed into their Google account to get to Classroom, this will be a one-step process. They'll click on this link and go automatically to the movie. So this is what the student will see when they look at your assignment. 
Not much different than when you share a link today, but this will take them exactly to the movie. Don't be concerned that it doesn't show the name of the movie or anything. The sign on is what you want. So you know how to get onto discovery. You know how to search, share with Google Classroom. Let me just show you a couple things, how you can tell if the student has done the work or not. So let's look at response. Three options. One, once they've watched the movie, they can send you a private comment. Private is what it means. It will come back only to you. Second option, they can mark it as done. Yes, I watched the movie. You could have them add and create work. Depending on how old your students are, you might not want to consider that at this point. Or you could go to class comments down at the bottom. If they type something in the class comment, everyone will see it. So private comments, just click the box that's mark is done. And you can do both one, two together, one or two, or just one or both of them. And Or you could do class comments. I think for younger students, maybe either a private comment or and have or have the mark is and mark is done so you know they watch the video. So if you have any questions, email me. I hope things are going well and please let me know how I can help.